Hi everyone, Jordan from Entech here. In last week's episode, we talked about sizing power supplies for multi-single power injections. Today, we're gonna to go into power supplies a little bit more, showing you some of the practical details that you should know about, and we'll let you know what you're really getting for your money when you buy higher-end power supplies. Today, we're gonna to be looking at three power supply offerings from Meanwell. Our first and cheapest option is an open frame type power supply, the LRS-100-12, which comes in at under $30. We have a medium cost enclosed type power supply, the LPV-100-12, which comes in at about $40. And we have a high end closed type power supply, the HLG-120H-12, which comes in at about $80. For today's video, we've opted to show you all 12 volt power supplies and we've tried to keep the power output at 100 watts to keep things consistent. The notable exception here being the HLG-120H-12, which is a 120 watt power supply. So the first most obvious thing that we'll notice that's different between them is the price, but what else? The LRS is an open frame type power supply, so it's only suitable for indoor applications where the LPV and the HLG are closed frame power supplies that actually have an IP67 rating, which means they're suitable for indoor or outdoor applications. These are some of the obvious physical differences, but what about under the hood? An essential piece of information to consider when choosing any power supply is the derating curve. This is a graph that shows how the output of a power supply will drop as the ambient temperature of the power supply increases. Generally speaking, power supplies will drop their maximum output as the ambient temperature reaches a certain point. This is considered a safety feature because if a power supply continues to output at maximum power in a very hot scenario, there is a high risk of electrical fault or fire. Here are the derating curves for our three power supplies. For the LRS, we can see that the output starts to diminish when the ambient temperature is above 50 degrees Celsius, and then it'll completely drop off once over 70 degrees. We see similar behavior with the LPV, where the output begins to reduce once the ambient temperature reaches 45 degrees Celsius. Once again, it drops off at 70 degrees C. The HLG, however, maintains full output all the way up to 60 degrees, and then, like the others, drops out completely once over 70 degrees Celsius. So what does this mean for our installations? We have to consider the derating curve when deciding where our power supplies are going to be placed within an installation. This is to ensure that the power supply itself doesn't overheat. Generally, we want to hide our power supplies away in an invisible location so the rest of our installation can shine, literally. If this is a cramped, enclosed space with poor ventilation, this could cause us issues. As we discussed in previous LED tape videos, all electronics generate heat during their operation. LED tape does this, and power supplies are subject to the same behavior. If the heat generated by a power supply is released into a non-ventilated area, the ambient temperature will build up, and once it exceeds 40 to 50 degrees C, the LRS or LPV power supplies will begin to thermal throttle. As the power supply output drops off, it may not be able to meet the power requirements of your LED installation. As a result of this reduced output, we may notice our LEDs lose brightness or begin to display the wrong colors. If you've been following along with this series, you might recognize these as symptoms of voltage drop. And this may lead you to think that you need to rewire your installation with thicker cabling in hopes of rectifying this issue, when in fact, it could just be caused by your power supply overheating. When we're involved in a project where good ventilation simply isn't possible, we may need to choose a higher end power supply like the HLG that can withstand higher operating temperatures before reducing output. Another factor related to the derating characteristics is the lifespan of the power supply. Generally, the higher the average operating temperature, the shorter the lifespan of the power supply. Lifespan data unfortunately isn't reported for the LRS or LPV drivers, but we can see on the HLG that the expected lifespan is related to the operating temperature. 
Looking at the data sheet, we can clearly see that the lifespan drops significantly when the HLG power supply operates over 70 degrees C. Based on this information, we can infer that the lifespan curve would likely be less favourable for the more cost-effective LRS and LPV power supplies. Now that we've had a closer look at the data provided with each power supply, we can have a better understanding of what we're getting when we pay more or less for a power supply. Amongst other features, we're generally getting power supplies that can tolerate higher ambient operating temperatures and have a longer lifespan under stressful conditions. That's all for today's video. Like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Comment down below if you have any questions or you think there's something that we missed. Don't forget to check out our social media channels and stay tuned for more helpful and tech tips.